Hello everybody, I am Nico D. Here I am working on the ROG 5B, so this is my main desktop. So this is with the old legacy kernel, so let me show you NeoFetch. So this is with kernel 5.10.160. So this is the old legacy kernel and now there are two new kernels, so a 6.1 vendor kernel and also mainline kernel 6.8 so in this video i'm going to show you the two kernels so this kernel uses the pan fork gpu driver so that's hacked together pan frost so it would work on rk3588 on this vendor kernel so let me show you super tux cards So here in average it goes to about 60 frames a second to 65 frames a second. So that's not bad if you know that Raspberry Pi with its maximum overclock can do about 17 frames or 19 with Jammy. So that is good. So now let me run a 7-zip benchmark. And the result is 17,300 decompression. I only look to decompression, you cannot mix the boats in total, that's total bogus scores. You cannot add apples with oranges. So now let me run a Nico D Blender benchmark. And that is 3 minutes 18 seconds. So now let me open Chromium and let me show you WebGL aquarium so this works this is because it is using the amazing fated chromium so this is an adapted chromium to make it work with the pan fork driver so now let's go to the new vendor kernel so here i am again on the rock 5b but this time we are using 6.1.43 vendor so this is the new kernel so let me show you here Lix info. Instead of using pan fork, it is now using pan third driver. It still shows pan frost. That is because it is based on the pan frost driver. It will always show pan frost, but it is using the pan third driver. So let me run super tux card again. And now we get about 74 frames a second. So from 70 to 74 frames a second instead of 60 to 65. So it is already an improvement, but it isn't as stable as the pan fork driver. So lots of games will not yet work, but it is a beginning. So let me run 7-zip benchmark. So this performs a little bit better. Not that much better, but it is a little bit better. So 17,700 decompression. And now let's do Nico D Blender benchmark. And that did it in 3 minutes 16 seconds. And now to show you the WebGL, that doesn't work. Because we do not have an adapted Chromium yet for this. But I think this will be possible in a bit. I hope Amazing Fate can do his amazing work. And now let's go to the really special one. So the 6.8.4 kernel. It is KDE Neon, but all the rest is the same. It is RMB Jammy, just the kernel is different and also the desktop. But another desktop shouldn't change the performance. Another kernel, that can change the performance. So let me show you Helix info. So again, we have the Panther driver. And let me run Super Tux cards. And again, we have an improvement. So 80 frames a second, 84, 83, 85. Lowest is 74 frames, highest 84. So this is again almost 10 frames better. So now let me run a 7-zip benchmark and this also performs a lot better. So 18,200. 
So that is a nice improvement versus the old fender kernel. And now let me run a Nico D Blender benchmark. That is 3 minutes 25 seconds. And again we don't have WebGL. But let me play some YouTube so it is using the CPU. But you can run 4K video playback. So even without VPU acceleration this is very usable. So for people who don't need the GPU drivers that much this is already very good. It is very usable but there are still things that do not work. Like for instance only one HDMI port is working. HDMI audio doesn't work yet on the main line. There is a patch for it so this will be fixed very soon. But there are still a few things that need to be fixed. But as you see we are getting closer to the finish. Mainline kernel already works on a few boards. So Orange Pi 5s, the ROG 5B, Kadas H2. For a few others it is waiting for them to be mainlined. So it is nice to see that we are nearing the finish. But the last miles can be the hardest of course. So here are the results. So we can see an improvement in GPU performance with the Panther driver. So SuperTox card does better with the vendor kernel. The lowest 60 doesn't say much because it was mostly at 70, 74. While the legacy kernel cannot reach that. And mainline it was between 70 and 85. So again an improvement. Mainline also performed the best in 7-zip benchmark. I think this is because there is an improvement in memory performance. I will need to investigate this further. The Nico D Blender benchmark didn't show that much. Mainline was a little bit slower. I don't know why. It is a totally different task from 7-zip. It isn't as memory intensive. So that will be it for today. I hope you will like this video. Thank you all for watching. See you all later. Bye.